Good morning and welcome to sit down with Father John again. Yesterday, I put on television and I was surprised to see our Governor DeSantis talking to President Trump about Florida being coming unlocked. And then I heard the beaches are beginning to become unlocked. But you have to keep your social distance. So I'm sure if when the bishop decides when we become unlocked, I'm sure we'll have to have our social distance. So if you take a look at the picture in our church, this gives an idea of how we are to sit in social distancing. And I'd ask you, when you come to pray in the church from now on, is to take a seat and be social distance from each other, because that's what we're required to do. I'm very fortunate here in St. Anne's Church. If we open with the social distancing, I can have over 200 parishioners in the church. And if I go to the back, I could make it nearly 250. So we just keep praying and keep looking. So get an idea of <coughs> what social distancing is. So this is what it would look like. It's strange but this is our new normal. Friday begins the month of May, the month of Mary, and the month of the Rosary. Today I'm in front of our stained glass window of the wedding feast of Cana, where Mary asked Jesus to work his first miracle, changing water into wine. We're reminded in the early church at Easter that Mary, the mother of God, went to church praying for them. And so in the month of May, we ask Mary to pray for us. One of the feast days in May is Our Lady of Fatima, the 13th of May. And Our Lady of Fatima told us to pray the first Saturday that no evil befalls the world. And there's no greater evil than today that this pandemic that's traveled within three months all over the world and changed the way we all live, not just in America, in Ireland and in England. My mother is confined like you, can't even go out of the house for the last two months. My brother's allowed one visit a week and he only could go because his wife has a nurse's certificate, otherwise he couldn't see her. So that's the way we're living in. And so May begins on Friday. Pope Francis wrote a letter last week on the Feast of St. Mark, asking us to pray the rosary this month, to pray the family rosary as best we can, and to recite one of the prayers that he gave us. I'll recite one at the end of this talk. Now, Friday and Saturday is the first Friday and the first Saturday. Our Lady of Adam asked us to pray the rosary and to pray devotion to her Sacred Heart and the Sacred Heart of Jesus and her Immaculate Heart. So, to Friday, I'm asking our guardians of the Eucharist to come and pray with me where we'd have exposition of the Eucharist from 9 to 12 and then the Alliance of the Two Hearts will have exposition from 7 to 9 and then on Saturday from 8 to 10. The main reason I do from 8 to 10 on Saturday is that Bishop Parks is having a special dedication of the Diocese to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the diocese. And this is going to be live stream on the diocesan website. If you're getting emails from Linda, she'll give you the link for this. So don't worry, we will send you the link for this thing in the church. But in the meantime, I'd like you to come and pray with me on Friday, be in front of the Eucharist from nine to 12, from seven to nine, and then on Saturday, from 8 to 10. Also, a tradition in May is in our 
houses, we should build an altar to Our Lady and have a nice altar and put flowers to remind us to pray. And Our Lady told us that if we pray the rosary, she will help us from all difficulties. She told us to pray the rosary that will overcome the evils of this world. And we need to pray the rosary together in this evil this world. We will start saying the rosary in the church. I get a, get a certain time when I meet my committee and next week I'll give you the time where we pray the rosary every day in the church. But in the meantime, please come and pray with me. Last Sunday when I opened the church from nine to one, I was surprised at many people who came to pray. Please come on Sunday to pray as well. I know we can't have the Eucharist, which is a shame, but you can come and pray in front of the Eucharist and pray to our Lord that he help us overcome this horrendous pandemic. And as we come to unlock Florida, we have to be very careful that we don't get a second wave of the virus. That means we have to be extra careful in ourselves. We have to keep social distancing, as I showed you at the beginning of the talk, what it's going to be like in the church. When you come, you should never come to church with a temperature or with a fever. You have to wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands all the time and make sure you keep your social distancing. And when we start off, the first time I think we'll all have to wear a mask. So please bring a mask to church. So they're just the small things we're asked to do. It's an inconvenience, but we're doing it to help each other so we'll overcome this pandemic, that we can become unlocked down properly. But as we become down lock, lock, unlocked, we have to keep our social distances and keep reminding ourselves that this invisible enemy, enemy is around all the time. So Pope Francis has asked us to pray in the month of May to Our Lady to help us with this pandemic. So I'll pray. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves, and I entrust the parish of St. Anne to you, health of the sick. We at the foot of the cross, we're united with Jesus' suffering, and preserved in your faith. Protectors of the Roman people, you know our needs, and we know that you will provide, so that as the wedding at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and to do what Jesus tells us, for he took upon himself our suffering and bore himself with our sorrows to bring us to the cross, to the joy of the resurrection. We fly to thy patroness, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions, but in our necessities, deliver us always from every danger of glorious Blessed Virgin Mary. A prayer for our Pope. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, now, is now, and ever shall be. World, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. Just to remind you, as we come on lockdown, wash your hands, wear a mask, and keep your social distancing. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all till we meet again, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.